What is going on guys, it's SJ Sports and welcome back to Youth Academy Region Series 2 Episode 4 with Frankfurt. Just before I get into this episode boys, I want to like to say a massive thank you for you guys that came over to my live stream that I was supposed to do for 24 hours, but we didn't end up doing it, we had to cut it short by 7 hours. Uh, we managed 17 hours, the problem was is we kept losing connection, it kept going off the stream and then back on and back off and back on, it was doing my head in uh, and it doing uh, everybody else's head in and the viewers as well, because see you guys were getting quite frustrated, which is fair enough, I don't have any... Any problems with that? Um, just before I get into it as well, we I've made a new T-shirt design because we got Scout Future Star Dispatch from some of my subscribers that sent sent them over, redeemed them, and we got an absolute worldy player in Jeffy uh, or Jeff, also known as. So I've done a T-shirt design, uh, and it's called My Name Is Jeff Jeffy. Uh, so go ahead, go to my T-shirt. The uh, link will be in the description below as always. And I just want to say a massive thanks to Dynamate and Super Cool as well. They was they was in from like the word go. Uh, I can name some of the people that was in there that supported me. Case obviously, Cutsy, he was there. There was Bama Striker Nine. There was also Premium Rat in the call. Dynamite came in the call. A lot of conflicts was in there as well. It was just so good. I really did enjoy myself, and unfortunately, it did cut short because of connection issues. So as you can see on screen now, let's get into the, this episode. We have rambled on far too long now. Scout has been dispatched to get a future star. Great news. And also, we have had our transfer offer accepted. Uh, well, they've asked, they reviewed our asking price of 600k for Mark Andre Kruska um, has been decided. They decided to match head with the deal. That's excellent news. That's good to get some more funds in very early on in this episode. Transfer offer for our 54 rated overall goalkeeper is worth 70k. We are going to negotiate at 90. Right, play Soldain. Uh, Mark Andre Kushka has gone to FC. I'm not going to pronounce that name for 600 grand. The board have allocated half a million to our current budget. And we've also got a play sold uh, to Rail Zaragoza for 900k. The board have allocated 775k to our current transfer budget. So, Danny Arnold, then a scout is ready to be dispatched, and we're going to send this guy. Uh, he went to, obviously, Japan. We're going to send him to Chile. We're going to send him for six months. Palowski, then, our 54, 57 overall goalkeeper. They've, asked, they've reviewed our asking price of 90k, and they've gone ahead and matched it. We've received the transfer offer for this guy. He is quite a good striker at 72. 90 overall is valued at 2.2. We are going to ask for 2.5. Soul Palowskis has gone for 90 grand. The board have allocated 80 grand to our current transfer budget. First game of the episode is Frankfurt against FC St. Pauli. I think I've said that right. The starting lineup then is Nilsson, Kaleem, Evans, Bulit, Khalid, Bacalord, Nian, Kadira, De Jong, Wiltshut, and Sonogo gets a start after coming off the bench and scoring in his debut in the last episode. It's too much room for him at the minute. Well done, Buell. It's there again, but that's a poor ball away. Skips past the challenge, lays it to the man in the box. Shot comes in, they've rattled the post. Evan, whoa, what? Why does he do that? That is so... Oh, my God, please do not be like last Cambridge episode where everything went against us. It started like that. It was a, the awful touch from Evans, and then it came to the goalkeeper, who then had an awful touch as well. And they get punished. Let's take another look at the replay here. It was a good effort. Evans' touch was a bit heavy. And the goalkeeper's trying to do a stupid Cruyff touch instead of just whacking it clear. And it's nils. It has to go down as a Nilsson mistake. And it's 1 0. Kadira, who's been fantastic for us in the last game. Can he continue his form? Will shoot. He was another good player, but he's lost out there. He's got it bad, though. Here's Niani. Sees the run of back of Lord. Here is Sonogo. The space here for Wilshire for a second goal. Oh, he scored. It's a great finish. And it hits the post and goes in with the finesse. It's Wilshire that's got us back on level terms. And this player is turning into quite a good player so far. It's our first effort on goal. And it's found the way into the back of the net. We was unmatched. It was good, lovely, passing, patient football from Frankfurt. And it's gone into the back of the net. It's 1 1, Kadira, into Sonogo. So no goal then, seeing Kadira's run, he looks to find him, go on Kadira, be strong lad, be stronger, he is, he's got there, oh he's short, he's let him down, oh wow, just put your foot through it Kadira, go on Niane, go on Niane lad, keep battling son, cross coming in now early, we've not dealt with it, the header, and it's easy for Nilsson, 
Lays it short to over two. He's going to have to work for it. Plays it inside. Now Wilchert skips past one man. Referee will have the free kick or not. But Overtoom straight in. And Overtoom's powering forward. Overtoom! Oh! Kadira then will cross. In it goes. Ace Evans with the header. It's found its way through to in hand. Honours the substitute. In hand then will look to swing it in. He has done Evans with the header. He's straight at the goalkeeper. Here's Overtoom. First touch was poor. But we've got away with it. Niane then into Wilchert. Will shut needs some support. It looks to lay it back. Here's Seculin. Yes. Oh, here's over to him. Well played from Frankfurt. Here's in hand. In hand then at a tight angle. Oh, and he's found its way into the back of the net. And it's in hand who has come off the bench to put us in front. And I'm sure he scored in the last outing in the 4 0 riot in the last episode. He's got on the score sheet again coming from the bench to put us 2 1 up. There goes the full-time whistle and in hand's goal in the last couple of minutes secure all three points for Frankfurt. We've been really pleased with how they have actually have played. One thing I will say, Niani had a very, very quiet game. Full-time score, then it's a team I'm not going to pronounce, Paul. One, Frankfurt two. So they've reviewed our asking price of 2.5 million for Mohamed Amene, whatever you called. And they decided to match it and go ahead with the deal. Great news. We're looking like we're going to get two million in our transfer kitty. Bayer Leverkusen, with six hours remaining of transfer deadline day, have come in for an offer for Niane. Schinderholz Niane is for £12.5 million. Pounds. We know what we're going to do. We're going to reject because he's not for sale. So we've received another transfer offer for a real player then. It is below his valuation and it is transfer deadline day. So what we're going to do is we are going to counter this at £900,000. Nine then is the counter offer. It's more than what they're willing to spend. So they have come back with a 725 Again, it's below its valuation. So what we'll do is we'll go for 850k. So they've reviewed the 850k and they've decided to match it. Player sold then. Yedlin has gone to Basta. For 850k, with the board of allocated 725k to our current transfer budget. So a scout of future star then has been brought back. It's Lucas Volland. Looks okay, 85 to 94 potential. It's weird that scout of future stars brought us back potential like this. When we have this guy, 89 to 94, he was definitely already in our youth academy because he's 15 and I just want to promote him. And I can't do. The problem is we're going to end up with so many centre midfielders. It's untrue. And transfer deadline day has also ended. 172 million pounds was spent on transfer deadline day. Next game of the episode then is FC Frankfurt versus Nuremberg. I may have screwed that name up wrong. You know, guys, you know what it's like with my pronunciations. But your starting lineup is the same side that played in the last game against Paul. So free kick then for Nuremberg into the box it goes. Header! Oh my god! Wow! What an absolute brilliant header! Here's World Shot. Oh, nice from Wilchut. Love that scoop turn. Wilchut will shoot. It's deflected. Oh, and he's hit the bar. Unbelievable, Jeff. He's hit the bar. That's so unlucky. Well done. And there's a chance. And there's an advantage. And it's Sonogo. Can Sonogo score here? Sonogo near post OP. And it's a no goal. Get in, lad. We've equalised. 23 minutes on the board. And it's a no goal that has got the goal. For FC Frankfurt to draw level, great play, good advantage to be fair from the referee. EA yeah, have got something right for a change. And we find ourselves back on level terms, it's one all. Nearer then, back to Sonogo, seeing the run, we're still at 1-1, remember, we need to get here. There's a ball there, it's Niani for his first goal. Oh, wow, I only tapped circle. It's back a lord then, out wide to in hand. Back on as a substitute, he could be our seat. new secret weapon in hand. He's done well, and there's beating the offside. Travers back a lot, he's in the area. Wow, it's a chance, and it was too easy. That's two very good opportunities, and we're absolutely, completely, and utterly blown them. Sonogo then, here is back a lot. Sonogo, back to back a lot. We may have this opportunity, make it count, and it's blocked. Oh, honestly, we're going out for a corner. Wow. Here we go, Sonogo. He's got no options available to him at all. Sonogo, he has now, though, with in hand. In hand, then. We'll dink it over. Great ball to Sonogo. Hit it. Oh, what a save. Oh, and he's knocking. Nearly came back to Sonogo. Well, there goes the full time whistle. We don't pick up maximum points in this game. We've picked up a point. 
to be fair, it was a fair result. We should have really taken our chances. We had two great opportunities with that Niane shot and also back a Lord's effort. It's finished 1 1. One for scouting update then from South Africa brings us back a 61 to an 81. We're going to reject and a 68 we are also going to reject. We do have another scouting update available from England brings us back an 86, which will continue scouting for a further month. Another goalkeeper of 67 to 89 will also continue scouting for a further month. Uh, Jordan Noble is a 64 to an 88, which will also scout for a further month. And Tyler Robinson, another goalkeeper, 67 to 91, will sign this player up. Next game of the episode, I don't know who it is. Urgy Burge. It's just pronounced the team name and it, it said ow. So we're going to go with that. Easy. It's a ball played out wide. It's a great ball. There's a guy through here by the look of it. It's been well done, lads. Well done. Niane. Here's Wilshut. Come on, son. We need you to produce something for us. Here he goes. Wilshut then. Sonogo's time. He's run to perfection. The linesman flag stays down. Our first attempt then. Sonogo is straight the keeper. Might get second by the cherry. Niane will. Oh, what a finish. What a finish in off the post. And it's Niane with the, with the goal. That puts us 1-0 up away from home against Ow. Wow, what a player he is. He is really, really improving already. He feels so, so good. You know what I mean? It was a great save from the keeper initially, but look at that on the half volley. Great technique. Hits the post and finds its way into the back of the net. It's Al nil. Frankfurt 1. Here is Sonogo then. It looks like he's going to have to go alone. Skips past one man. Sonogo lays it off to Niane, who's going to strike it from distance. Oh, and it just goes over. Here's Will Schutz. Great feet. Fouled. Oh, he's already been booked as well, and he's off. Evans. Back of Lords then. Skips past one man. Plays out wide to Khalid then. Khalid. Oh, we're doing just keeping the ball nicely. We're doing well. Here's Niane. Niane then. Great ball through to Will Schultz. Good save from the keeper. Schultz then lays it inside. This guy's got a lot of space. He lays it off. Oh, Bueller. Oh, Nilsson, what are you doing? Don't do that to me again, Nilsson. You awful touches cost us last time. We are on the front four here. Why is Evans bomb forward? It's Will Schultz. Lays it off. Here is Kadira. Evans, if you carry on running, you might as well get in the box, pal. Kadira lays it off. Sonogo! And it goes over the bar. Over to him. Lays it off to Seculino. He's going to hit it. Oh, good strike. Good save. Oh, no. Cross comes in early. Get it out, Evans. It's not properly clear. Oh, Tafel, what are you doing? Chance here. Can someone go to him. Oh, it went to him. Fucking hell. There goes the full time whistle. And a Frankfurt win by just the one goal to nil against more or less 10 men. Ow, who got a man sent off on the 43rd minute. It's finished. Ow, nil. Frankfurt won. So, boys, this episode is coming to an end. Hope you have enjoyed. If you have, then make sure you do smash that like button so we can get back to 100 likes on this. You can see why I sell old boys in Paderborn are at the top of the table. We've played for 1 4 with 12 points. We're not far behind them, we're two points behind them. Abin SGH Sports, please like, sub, comment. I'll catch you guys all on my next video, and goodbye.